Hey everyone, today I got something totally special for you. I used ChatGPT to help me come up with a wrap that combines sweet and spicy flavors in a way you probably never tasted before. And it's called Sweet and Spicy Chocolate Veggie Wrap. So here's what we are working with. According to ChatGPT, we need some tortillas or whatever bread you got at home. Uh, I'm using tortillas. Then we got chocolate chips, honey or sugar with water and some veggies and cheese. Oh, and spices like chili powder. I'm curious to see how all of this will come together. The first step ChatGPT told me is to melt some chocolate. So I'm going to take these chocolate chips and microwave them about 20 to 30 seconds. It's looking pretty smooth now. Here's where things get interesting. ChatGPT suggests adding a pinch of chili powder or cinnamon to give it a sweet and spicy kick. I'm going with chili powder. I guess we'll find out how it tastes later. So next I'm adding just a splash of water to make it easier to drizzle. Next up, it's time to make a sweet drizzle. I'm using honey, but if you don't have honey, you can dissolve some sugar in warm water. Okay, now I'm warming my tortillas in the microwave for about 10 to 15 seconds to make them soft and ready for the wrap. Now it's time to prepare this wrap. I'm adding some fresh veggies like cucumbers, Carrots, um, basically whatever is in the fridge. I am really curious about how this is going to taste with the chocolate. Now let's place the chocolate over the veggies. And now I am finishing it off with a little of that sweet drizzle we made earlier. Let's wrap this up. This is surprisingly good. It has the sweetness of the chocolate, the little spicy cake, and the crunch from the veggies. This actually works. Shout out to ChatGPT for helping me create this dish. I had no idea what to expect but um, it turned out awesome. If you decide to try this yourself, let me know in the comments how yours comes out. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more fun experiments in the kitchen. See you next time.